What would be the nature of her relationship with her colleagues, boys, of course, at uh, the campus? Okay, how do you perceive me? Am I related to you? No. Yeah, you're a sheikh. But uh, am I allowed to shake hands with you? Am I allowed to invite you for a coffee, Starbucks, or for uh, dinner? No, because you're not related to me, you're not mahram. Similarly, is your colleague, or your professor, or your student. Likewise, there is a hijab. The hijab is physical and moral. The physical hijab is to dress up properly to cover your aura. Fine. And the most important hijab is the moral hijab, to know your limits. You can hang around with girls and not every girl as well. You choose your colleagues, those who will help you to remain steadfast on the straight path. You can end up falling in the peer pressure with their own company of girls, which would be worse than men. So you choose your colleagues of uh, girls, righteous girls of the same type who support you to remain steadfast. And with regards to the boys, is like everybody else in the street. It is not lawful to you to hang around with him or to talk to him or her beyond the basic needs. So if somebody says, Salaamu Alaikum to you, Wa Alaikum Salaam Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh. Good morning, good morning to you. How are you? I'm fine, Alhamdulillah, Shukla. Do you care for a cup of tea? No, I'm sorry. Thank you. Then turn around. Why? Because one thing leads to another. And this is how it all begins. And this is how it all ends up. It's like, you know, a cycle. And those who do not uh, block the means, they end up falling in the pit of uh, the ma'asi wal iyadu billah. A few more years in college, you said second year. Two more years and you're graduated, alhamdulillah, shukla. I want to tell you one thing, that if you behave likewise, every boy in the campus who knows you would say, this is a polite girl, I wish that she would be my future wife. While the girl who is easygoing with everybody, she wouldn't wait for somebody to invite her, rather she would go and impose herself and invite boys and so on and sit and chat with them. You know what? When it comes to choosing life mate, no one would think about her because they know that she is for everybody, not for one person. Fear in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until you graduate, Allah will secure you a good life mate and inshallah a good future. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and all the Muslim girls and boys in college and otherwise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us what's best.